Palestine deserves the right to self-determination. The right to liberate itself on its own terms. And we should be following the example of the courageous people of Palestine. Who despite thousands of their own dead, despite the rubble, despite the attacks, despite all the war machinery of the U.S. and Israel against them, they refuse to give up. That's right. That's right. That's right. We should be following the example of courageous countries like Yemen. But more importantly, we have a responsibility, which is to not let this new year come in as if it were a normal new year. They want this movement of millions of people around the world to end. That's right, that's right. They want us to think that the holidays are a time to give up. But we know better than that. We know that we're going to be taking it to the White House on January 13th. We know that we're going to be taking it to the doorsteps of every blood-lusting politician who wants to keep funding genocide. Before we get ready to march today, because we're going to march, yes. Yes, we are. we're going to bring in a few speakers who represent the broad and diverse coalition that makes up the Shut It Down movement. All right. And to start us off, I am beyond honored to share the stage with a fighter a Palestinian comrade who has now been silent for one second, All right. who has committed her whole life to the struggle. Mm, come on. A leader of the Palestinian youth movement, Lulu. Yes. Y'all are beautiful. Thank you for being here. You might have heard through the news from the imperialist propaganda system that the Palestinian people are currently exhausted, that they have given up the struggle, and that they are defeated by the reactionary Israel. Lies. Comrades, do not believe them. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. There is no end to our struggle. Come on. Oh. These are the words of our revolutionary fighter and thinker, Nassan Kanafani, spoken decades ago. Yes. And they ring true today. Let us remember that we were not defeated in the first intifada. That's right. We were not defeated in the second intifada. That's right. We were not defeated in the invasion of Lebanon. That's right. We were not defeated in the wars on Gaza in 2009, 2012, 2014, 
Yeah. Right? Why does this country deploy its army of fascist pigs to beat up and arrest peaceful protesters? Come on. Comrades, do not believe them. They are liars. Yeah, that's right. Our people in Gaza and in the West Bank and historic Palestine have only grown more resolute that's right. and more steadfast. That's right. more powerful and more fierce. Mm -hmm. Make no mistake, there is no end to our struggle. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We are about to enter a new year, 2024. We refuse to enter this year normalizing this genocidal assault. That's right. No new beginnings. Come on. No celebrations while Gaza is facing genocide. In the face of this genocide, we see the Palestinian people are even more resilient and determined in the steadfast struggle for liberation and return. That's right. We must stand with this cause wherever we are yes. and strengthen and renew our organizing in the new year. Come on. Yep. society, new years are meant to mark a new beginning, a break from the past, to make new resolutions and absolve ourselves of those we did not carry out. But our history is the future. Our struggle now is a continuation of the decades of struggle that have come before. Our struggle is strengthened and firmly rooted in our past and the martyrs that have sacrificed to bring us to this point in the history and legacy of our resistance. That's right. Every day, we should recommit ourselves to the struggle. Yes. Yep. Every day, we need to reckon with our roles and ask ourselves, what have we done for Palestine today? Yep. What will we do for Palestine tomorrow? Yep. Because we understand that ceasefire 
is the minimum. That's right. It's the minimum act. We are fighting for a free, sovereign Palestine. And we are marching, protesting, divesting these genocidal systems that is grounded of U.S. imperialism. And it is U.S. empire that is supporting and financing the southern colonial state of Israel. And we are saying no more. Because it is the same system that is robbing us of our right to live in this city of New York. All across the United States. That is robbing the people of Palestine of living free. Come on. That best be called war criminals yeah. that are okay with murdering our people here in the United States, in Palestine, in Congo, and Sudan. That's right. It is the same force that is blockading Cuba. It is the same force that is blockading Venezuela. That's right. And we are fed up. That's right. And this year is ending. But it's ending on a hopeful note. And you know why? Come on. Why? Because we are not tired. No. Are we tired? No. Are we tired? No. Are we going to get tired? No. We don't have the option of becoming tired. Right. Because the battle for the freedom of Palestine is a battle for humanity. Come on. Oh, yeah.